Hello guys, so I would like us to resolve this uh, into partial. So uh, looking at this, first of all, check uh, the power of x in the numerator. The highest power is two and in the denominator, three, if you were to open this up. So it's okay, we can uh, continue to resolve. Now looking at the denominator, all these are linear factors. So uh, how do we open a linear factor? So we are going to have 2x squared minus 9x minus 35. All this divided by x plus 1, x minus 2, x plus 3. And how do we open a linear factor? A over x plus 1 plus b over x minus 2 plus c over x plus 3. Then we are going to put all this under the same LCM so that we can compare both sides of the equation. So uh, LCM on this side gives us x plus 1, x minus 2, x plus 3. Taking A, x plus 1 goes here, x minus 2, x plus 3, plus B, x minus 2 goes here, x plus 1, x plus 3, plus C, x plus 3 goes here, x plus 1, x minus 2. This is supposed to be equal to 2x squared minus 9x minus 35. All this divided by x plus 1, x minus 2, x plus 3. Now, since the denominators are the same, what we do is just compare the numerators. And we have three unknowns here. So we are going to choose three random values of x to replace in the numerator so that we can be able to solve for the three unknowns. So I'm going to take um, a random value of x. Let's say when x is equal to, um, let's say zero. So when x is equal to zero, replace this value in the numerator and also in the numerator on both sides. So replacing zero, zero, we have minus 35 on that side. Then replacing zero here gives minus two. Replacing zero here give positive uh, three. So, okay, so uh, we're replacing it here. We have minus six A. Replacing zero here, zero here, we'll have plus three B. Replacing zero here, then zero here, we'll have minus two C. So let's call this our equation number one. And now let's replace when X is equal to, let's replace two. So replacing two, um, two times two raised to power two, that will give us eight, eight minus eight, that will give us minus 10 minus 35 that will give us minus 45 this is equal to replacing 2 here will give us 0 so the whole of this becomes 0 replacing 2 here will give 3 replacing 2 here will give 5 so 5 times 3 that will give 15 b and replacing 2 here will give us 0 so we have minus 45 divided by 15, and that will give minus 3. So this gives us the value for B. B is equal to minus 3. Since you already have the value for V, we can be able to replace it here. So that this is minus 6A plus 3 into minus 3 minus 2C is equal to minus 35. So this is minus 6A minus 2C is equal to minus 35 plus 9. So minus 35 plus 9, that gives minus 26. Divide all through by 2. This is the same as minus 3A minus C is equal to minus 13. So this is still our equation 1. But now we've uh, actually simplified it. Let's choose another value for x because we had three unknowns, we're choosing x three times. So when x is equal to, let's say, negative one. So replacing negative one on uh, this side, negative one squared, that will give one. One times two, that will give two. Two minus minus nine, that will give two plus nine, which will give 11. So 11 minus 35, that gives minus 24. This is supposed to be equal to one minus two will give minus one. 
one plus three will give four. So minus four A, one minus one will give zero, one minus one will give zero. So those sides will just have zero. So here, what's the value of A? Our A will be equal to 24 divided by four, and that will give us six. So we already have the value for A, value for B. I can replace the value for A here as well. So I have minus three into the value for A, six minus C is equal to minus 13. So minus C will be equal to minus 13 plus three times six is negative uh, 18. You take it to the other side. So we'll have minus 13 plus 18, and that will give us five. So what's the value of C? C is equal to minus five. So having all these values, then we just replace them into our equation to get the partial. So A over X plus one, that will give us six over X plus one plus B over X minus two. So minus three over X minus two plus C, which is minus five over X plus three x plus 3, which we can in turn write as x over x plus 1 minus 3 over x minus 2 minus 5 over x plus 3. That's it.